What's good, y'all? Super Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about what seeds are being planted right now between Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton. Now they've been planting these seeds for a few weeks now, and I don't know if y'all have paid attention, but every time that Cody has needed some assistance, especially dealing with the bloodline, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens come out there usually to help. But if you pay attention to Randy Orton's, like, ex his expressions and what he's looking at, he always seems to be having his eyes on the WWE Undisputed Championship. And we kind of got even more seeds planted last night during SmackDown. So, Cody sitting in the locker room with the WWE Championship on, like, a, a bench, like, right next to him or whatnot. And Randy Orton comes in there, and he sits right next to Cody and the WWE Championship. And I like the framing of this because the framing of this is Cody on one side of the championship, Randy on one side of the championship. And then as they talk, they zoom in, and then they zoom back out. But you can tell this this has some type of potential future plans like both of these guys at one point are going to be fighting for the wwe undisputed championship so randy comes in there to reassure him like look man i know we just heard what solo said i know you're gonna go out there by yourself because that's who you are but i just want you to know when if things go awry i'm gonna have your back i'm gonna be in your corner i'll come out there to help you uh, i know uh, Kevin Owens uh, would be here, but I told him to stay at home and be with his family, you know, be with his mom. And, uh, you know, he didn't want to, but I told him he you know, he needs to do that. So that's why he's not here. That's on me. But I just want you to know I have your back. And then he started talking about how things, all things come to an end. And you can take that as a double meaning, and I'll explain that later. But he said all things come to an end when you finally done with the bloodline business there's gonna be a lot of guys in this locker room that are gonna be coming for you and that wwe championship i just want you to know even then i'm still going to have your back even when that happens gave him a fist bump and then that's it he walked out and the reason why it's so telling that he would say there's going to be a lot of people that, uh, well, no, it's so telling that he said um, that, all you know, everything has to end at some point. All things have to end. You can take that as a double meaning. Obviously, talking about the whole bloodline stuff, at some point, that story is going to have to end, right? But also, sometimes championship reigns have to end. And it's very clear you can just see it the writing on the wall and he, we even reacted to it and everyone was talking about it on social media there's no way you believe that randy orton when this bloodline stuff is all done there's no way you believe he's gonna have your back in fact you can say he may have some type of ulterior motive right now right now he's helping cody right now it's probably in his best interest to help cody to get rid of the bloodline because once the bloodline is done you don't think randy's gonna want to get another shot at the wwe championship you don't think he's gonna want that at least one more time before he hangs it up so of course he's gonna help out cody <clears throat> it makes sense from a story point they have history and i, I honestly when this bloodline stuff does end i am actually looking forward to that feud because it's going to be so good when he turns on him because the thing is he's saying i got your back even when the bloodline stuff is over even when people come after you i'm gonna have your back and i think that's very telling I, it's very telling because when we know randy we know the apex predator the viper himself he can sit there and tell cody that all day but if you know anything about randy orton it's one of those type of things you just, you got to be careful when trusting a snake because a snake ultimately has no loyalty. And I, I just can't wait to this feud happen. Granted, I don't know where this takes place. Um, obviously, we're going to have be dealing with the bloodline stuff at SummerSlam. And I think Roman's going to more or less take over 
uh, on the bloodline side of things. So I think Cody will probably, you know, exit himself out of this potential feud for for now until The Rock gets back. And there's rumors that The Rocks are supposed to come back to Survivor Series. I think Survivor Series is supposed to be in L.A. this year. So those are the rumors that maybe The Rock comes back at Survivor Series or around that time. So and we all know The Rock and uh, Cody, that's supposed to be a thing. The Rock has made it very clear that's what he wants to do, you know, try to go for that championship um, since the Rock pinned Cody at this year's WrestleMania. So I don't know where you put this in. I don't want to rush this feud. Because I think this is a really, really, really good feud. Because they have history. They have history with each other. With legacy and everything else. They have history. This is a different Cody from way back in the legacy days. So I think with this potential feud. I would want them to really kind of stretch this out. Could you do something between Bash in Berlin and Bad Blood? Yeah. And then maybe go into the rock stuff again? Or do you wait? Because honestly, I really don't see any other opponent. I don't. I don't see any other opponent right now to hold over until the rock gets back outside of Randy. I think once Roman gets involved, Cody's going to kind of exit himself out of the feud. And then I, I think you bring in Randy. I think ba Bash in Berlin would be at the Survivor Series. I mean, uh, SummerSlam. And then I'm not sure what's the next uh, PLE after that. I can actually check. Let me do this right now. PLE 2024 calendar. Because I want to see. And there, let's see. So, because I know they just updated with having uh, Bad Blood. So, we got SummerSlam. Let's see. Du -du -du -du. Let's go to SummerSlam, ba uh, Bash in Berlin. That's the next one on August 31st. So, you can maybe start it there. Um, then you have Bad Blood, which is October 5th. So, honestly... Honestly, you could possibly do it from Bash in Berlin and then the whole month of September, they don't have a pay-per-view. So you can kind of set it up at maybe it gets to a situation where maybe Randy ends up facing Cody, right? Randy ends up facing Cody and he doesn't win. Like he's on some friendly stuff, right? It, and then you can have him, since you don't have a pay-per-view in September as of now, you can sit up there from August 31st, where well, you can be building to Bash in Berlin, them just being friendly competition. And then you can build the turn towards bad blood. Because you have a whole month, essentially, to build it up and then go into bad blood if you want to do that. Granted, I, would, I don't know. You know, uh, it just depends on how they do it. But honestly, I think that would probably be the best method. Bash at Berlin, you could set up the Randy Orton um, uh, feud with Cody. Both of them baby faces, good sportsmanship. But Randy loses and then he snaps. And then from there, you build up heel Randy, sadistic Randy, and maybe have something, have a match at Bad Blood. And then I think at Crown Jewel, most likely, it's going to be The Rock versus Cody. I can see them trying to, you know, I think that's the next paper, uh, PLE after that is Crown Jewel. So most likely, they'll it'll be like uh, The Rock versus Cody then. Because I'm sure that they're gonna, the Saudi government is going to want The Rock over there. And they can really sell some tickets for that. So I'm guessing that's probably when it'll happen. Um, but that's the only thing I can think of. So... Unless they wait. But once again, you have two pay-per-views with Cody potentially not having no matches. Doesn't really make sense to do it that way. So I do think maybe after SummerSlam, we get the reigning Cody feud for the next two uh, PLEs. And then we get into Crown Jewel. And that's probably when The Rock will return. Uh, who knows? We'll see. But y'all comment down below. Let me know, man. Are you guys excited for this Randy Orton and... 
uh, Cody Rhodes feud. We know it's right around the corner. So let me know if y'all are excited about it. Because I definitely am. They can really tell some good story here. Hopefully they don't rush it. And we'll see how things play out. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still in this video. YouTube, rest of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.